What is up here, this is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw Blind. In the last episode, the very first episode, I was definitely caught off guard by, well, everything this game has to offer, ranging from the, the design, the the random visuals, the, the crazy music choices, to just uh, literally everything was catching me off guard, and it was honestly a lot of fun to experience. And in this episode, we are going to start off at the high school. What happened at San Romero High? Start this stage. Yes, we had, in the end, at the end of last episode, that's right, we managed to reach Nick, who was bit by a zombie. So, Juliet had some sort of plan that seemed quite ludicrous, and, well, let's see how that fares for not just Juliet, but her, her crush, Nick. I think her boyfriend, right? I don't know. I think she did say that they're dating, but... Got a little bit more energy today. I don't know why, I was, I was pretty stressed out the last episode with a lot going on. It's interesting, uh, kind of recording. A lot of your outside life gets brought into how you record, yet at the same time, there's definitely a barrier that separates the two. And today I'm definitely looking for a reprieve from the outside world in, you know, games, of course. But. Nick, Nick. Oh, Julia? What, am I okay? Yeah, basically. Press X to doubt. I feel good. Julia, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> not at all. What? Oh, no. Uh, 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 I had to. Uh, <laughs> How am I still alive? How am I still talking without a fucking thorax? I performed a, a magical ritual on your head. It was really hard. And I don't mean to be a jerk, but I think maybe just a little bit of appreciation is in order. If I didn't chop off your head, the venom would have totally seeped into your brain and turned you into a zombie. Juliet? This is how, great. How do you know how to perform a magical ritual on my decapitated head? Um... Well... Uh, um? There's some stuff I didn't tell you before, okay? I didn't want you to think I was weird. I'm kind of, sort of, I... <sighs> what? Uh, uh, Juliet? Don't know how to say it exactly. Zombies! Zombies! Come I'm and kill a... us now! I'm a zombie hunter. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. Don't hate me. So Julia turns her her crush into essentially a keychain, right? All right. So let me see if I remember all the controls and everything. So triangles for these like heavy uh, chainsaw attacks, right? But the square attacks are the pom pom bashes that do a decent amount of damage, and it's circle to sort of. Oh my goodness! What was that sort of pose afterwards? Ah, that's right, the spark hunting for for the multi-kills, essentially. Lunchtime? I don't know about that. Oh my goodness, I love it. We're going to get Nick's commentary throughout the whole time, too. Oh, the, uh, the telephone. So, I looked that up because I was very confused. And it turns out we cannot actually answer the phone. It's something we have to look up in a different part of the menu in between games. Can I? Oh, that's right, that's a low hit. I'm trying to remember, can I block? I don't think so. Something exploded. What the hell Something was that? definitely exploded. Look at all the like rainbow, the colors and everything. <laughs> Math, my favorite subject. Press circle in front of an enemy to leapfrog over them. Can combine with combos. Oh, interesting. So you can do like the heavy attacks while you're in the air and you'll do a special attack too. Because I know that we can do the pom-pom bash, right? And that'll give us a, uh, like a, do a drop, or not drop kick, a dive kick. Test time? I thought we just passed. Alright, well, we can uh, get quite a bit going here. What's kind of nice is when they do sort of swarm up like this, 
it makes it easier to get the, the sparkle hunting, right? Obviously, the trade-off being we're also much more vulnerable. Oh, that's right, and, uh, we have the crawlers that require the X attacks in order to, to drop low. Come on! Come on! Man, that was a that was a pesky zombie down there. Wait, what? <laughs> you just jump out the window? <laughs> I'm so curious about this self-destruct tutorial. It looks hilarious. Basically shows that they're gonna attach a bunch of dynamite to themselves. What's this? A bomb? That's royally effed up. That's some whack shit! <laughs> Welcome to the zombie bomber fest. Uh, so th these are the things that are gonna give us coins in this stage. Alright. Oh! People that are alive! Don't worry, I'll take care of them. <laughs> they look like lost causes at this point. Oh man! This kid though! Oh man, he had a chance. Alright, so we are going to quickly run over this way to try to save him as well as we possibly can. Yeah, I gotta get more comfortable with throwing circle into my uh, my workflow here. <laughs> I still can't get over that Nick is literally just a keychain we have on our, uh, what's it called? Just like on our skirt right now. Ooh, that was pretty cool. The, um, it's almost like a, it reminds me of, for those of you that played like Soul Calibur, or really just any, um, or Zelda 2. Link's like downward thrust with the sword attack. Or th those of you who played Smash Bros, who am I kidding? That's by far where people are going to recognize that sort of a move from. Alright, there's one more zombie left, right? It's probably safest to just do a uh, pom-pom bash, isn't it? Okay, so we've got a couple options here. Yo, I saved you. Yeah, I don't know. We're uh, we're out of your league, dude. Which one do we want to go into? Let's let's go into. Well, this person seems to be struggling a little bit. Let's let's go ahead in here. We'll pick this one for now. This was like a science classroom, presumably. Wait, what happened to the what happened to the girl? Man, these crawlers are definitely some of the more uh, more difficult zombies to fight in here. Oh, and we can get some coins for breaking these, I think. Nice. I was gonna say I thought there were four in here. Oh, give me that coin. Nice. Oh, that's right. And there's a mini map that shows us where the zombies are. That's convenient. Let's see. How do I use a lollipop again? It's not triangle. R1, L1, L2. It's not R2. D-pad. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll use a lollipop for now. Man, I love this music. Can I just talk about it? <laughs> no, you messed up your math test. Hey, it's Mr. Fitzgibbon again. <laughs> this is your punishment. Teacher zombies are the worst. Find their weak spot to make them vulnerable to attack. Okay. I mean, for this guy, it's probably whatever's behind him. He's probably got a weak spot there. Whoa. Video's struggling, or the image is struggling a little bit. Get out of there. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> So I tried to uh, basically jump over him and then do the pom-pom bash to stun him, but I didn't really do so successfully. He's like charging up for an attack of sorts. Ah, I see. So if we attack him head-on, we um, will not do any damage. We'll get away for now. Jump over him and then immediately do the slice right up his back. Dang. That probably does a lot. <laughs> the cheer. San Romero is the best. You're getting a C minus. <laughs> but I'm much better at. I'd much rather uh, prefer a C. Oh my. They weren't kidding about the how to self destruct. Zombie bombers. Fuck. I think that 
zombie seriously had dynamite strapped to it. Why would somebody do that? There's so many f bombs in this game. Can I only break this with a chainsaw? Yeah, I guess so. All right, we'll continue onward. So it turns out her thing is zombie hunting. The police just chilling in this high school. All right, so we'll head over there in a second. Oh, looks like it's not really an option. That'll make the five o'clock news. What is going on over here? We gotta slice through this with our chainsaw? Alright, that works. And is that a headless zombie on the other side waiting for us? What's going on here? Special zombie of some sort? Is that an explosive tank? Hey, Nick! We need to break through that wall. Can you give me a hand? Uh, yeah, right. I don't have a hand to give. Well, not yet. But that spell I cast on you gives you some magical powers. What? Like, maybe I can connect you to this zombie's body and you can temporarily use it. Oh my goodness. When you find a blue headless zombie, you can put Nick's head on it. A minigame will then start. That's hilarious. Oh! Oh my goodness. It's a quick time event, essentially. This feels weird. I'm blue and stuff. Look at him shaking his arms and everything. That's hilarious. Ticket? A Nick ticket? I don't know what a Nick ticket is. Alright, well anyways. Health and upgrades. Let's see here. Do I want to buy a lollipop? Not exactly. A Nick ticket is required to use Nick roulette. Well, I don't even really know what that is yet, so I think we'll hold off for now. Crunchy monkey cereal. Power dumbbell. Increases Juliet's strength. Ooh, I do like that. This increased Juliet's health permanently. I like that too. Aromatic yoga oil. <laughs> um, recovering from a down position. Magic beans? Is that just uh, a one-time purchase? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm inclined to get the power dumbbells and the cereal. Fruit poop juice. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we don't quite have enough for this. We could go for the oil. Honestly, I'll probably save up for just more fruit poot juice, I guess. Nick Shake. Usable by playing Nick Roulette. Okay, cheerleader chain. Chain bomb bomb bash to make zombies groggy. Two quick cheer attacks followed by penetrating chainsaw thrust. Ooh, yeah, I do want to get some more combos. I think I, oh, I was saying that last time, wasn't I, right? Armadillo spin. More powerful than chainsaw stab. Let's, um... You know, let's let's go with chainsaw stab. I think it'll be nice to have something that's a little bit quicker, right? The startup on the triangle attacks is a little bit slower than usual. So if I can start off a combo with some pom pom bashes, but then connect them to a chainsaw attack and actually do damage, that'd be nice. Push L when you have a ticket. Okay. I guess let's see what um, Nick Roulette does. Nice. What does this do? <laughs> What is this? Oh my goodness. Is it just like a, a circumferential sort of... <laughs> That's hilarious. Toss type attack. We also have maximum like power, uh, like magical power or whatever. Oh, I thought I would get a sparkle hunting there. We were like one hit away from getting it. Hey, better, uh, better late than never in your case. All right. Also, were those lockers giving us coins too? Another teacher, of course. Let's see here. Uh oh, this isn't good. So that's an interesting mechanic. If we get swarmed, that can happen to us. Well, this works for now. This would have been a decent time for the, the magical attack, I forget what it's called. Rainbow Zombie Hunter time, for all I know. 
It'd be fitting, wouldn't it? Oh, I got platinum medals. Oh, I want to try the uh, our new attack. Yeah, that's pretty solid. How did that happen? Okay. Oh, shoot. Who are you? What? Also, the zombie cop laid. Yeah, look at all these coins hidden in the lockers that I had no idea about. That would have been helpful for the shop, wouldn't it? Actually, we could probably go back at this point. But either way, the, the zombie cop named Ryu. Oh, what? I thought you were facing the totally different direction. Darn. Okay, so that didn't work. We'll just get away when you do that. Get away, get away! And in the meantime, we can collect some money from the lockers. Only requires like a couple more hits. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Name zombies you kill are stored in your zombie album. Check it for more info about them. Oh, I love that! Some, uh, some deep lore about all the zombies that this wonderful game is providing us with. They're a little bit different from the ones I encounter in the Resident Evil games I play. Uh-oh. What was that person running from? <laughs> Some of the things they say are just so off the wall. Sounds like a plan. Alright, get away, get away, get away! Run, Juliet! Run! It's literally a bomb. -bom. Oh shoot, you're already like can't be happening. Oof. So that's what the game over screen looks like, I guess. That's um Honestly, a pretty awesome game over screen. I thought that they would only start to explode or tick or whatever after we hit them, but it turns out they can do that without us even contacting them, which is unfortunate for us in this situation. They are effectively bomb bombs in this game. Wow. This game is just like such an overload. Like sensory overload, story overload, character overload. I want to comment on so many different things, but they're just like overwhelming. Oh, and we're starting back here. So we're gonna have to go through this part. All right. Honestly, not even super compelled to use Nick Roulette. Oh wait, what? Did you die? Oh, I totally forgot. No. That was my top priority before, but alas. Alright, now we gotta kill our classmate. That's probably some sort of bonus I'm gonna miss out on when the when the chapter ends. <laughs> but I guess it's alright. Alright, let's get a good uh, swipe in here. Alright. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Oh what? How lame. What happened to my uh my tokens? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Four? Nice. Yeah, that definitely made some quick work of those zombies. <laughs> Oops, where am I? Alright. We'll head over here. Oh, and I still have my, like, magical stuff, like, all full? Interesting. That's a surprise. Nope, not that way. Uh. Aw, oh, darn it. I tried to get cheeky. 
Almost. There we go. Dying hurts so bad. Okay. And it seems like we did miss out on the coins that we got from those other lockers in the back, which is unfortunate. It's obviously not the end of the world. Because I... Not gonna need every single coin, but it would be nice. Shop2shop.com, do we just unlock a new item? Maybe. Alright, well, either way, we'll be very careful about these bombs. I wonder if they're straight up insta deaths versus. Do they just do a lot of damage and we were fairly low on health? I think we were a little bit below half of our max HP. Alright, so first things first. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll just do this. And trigger them. Oh, I guess that didn't work. So I do need to hit them once, potentially. To trigger them. I'll corner myself back here. Oh, did they both blow up? Nice. Works for me. Oh my. School bus. Oh my god! Uh, what the heck is this? Come on! Nice. We managed to save ourselves. I think. Whew. Okay, we did. Anything back here? Nope. Alright, up here we go. Look at all these, like, backflips and stuff. So cool, so acrobatic. Okay, let's save our friend. Oh shoot, that one is a bomb, get out of there! Darn! I did not realize that they had bombs. That did a ton of damage to us, obviously. The zombies gave you a wedgie. What is with all these explosions? Oh, so now we gotta climb back up the bus to get up to the second floor. Alright, press circle X to finish off down zombies with this powerful downward thrust. Oh, that's really helpful. Alright, well, we're gonna utilize this because we got a lot of zombies here. Ooh, that is really cool. Also, the other thing is, like, there have been many times where we've struggled with downed zombies, and just having access to something that'll be a relatively quick kill on them will be really helpful long-term. Alright, let's take out a few more of these lockers and see what we can get, and then move on. What put those jerks to do our school? Yeah, but it does get me out of my calculus homework on Friday. Calculus homework? That's the best kind of homework, though. Jump! What's behind us? Um... What? I'm cool, asshole. Yeah, no kidding. What's going on back there? Why is the whole, why is the whole school shaking? That doesn't seem very good. Wait, these are people with bombs? Uh-oh. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Huh? Oh no. Pulls are flashy way to kill zombies. Continually plus triangle to speed up your spin. Of course. Because, of course, this game has a pole dancing minigame, essentially. Would you look at that? That's remarkable. Come on. There we go. Wanted to take advantage of that new attack we just learned. I'm surprised we didn't get any sparkle huntings during that uh, pole dancing segment. Because of course that's the response. 
Oh, my classmate was just pole dancing in front of me to killing zombies. Oh, man, I can't believe I got footage of that for YouTube. Gonna get all the views. Well, you're gonna have a lot of time to study in the afterlife. Bomber zombies will explode on contact with a fire zombie. Okay. Alright, well, we gotta save this guy, right? Uh. Come on. That one's gonna kaboom soon, isn't it? Oh, it is. Awfully close. Is that one alive? It is. Um. But yeah, my, uh, my friend is not. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw that there were two, I think two? Two zombies that had bombs attached to them that were running at the, the guy that were not distracted or blown up by the other people. So, by the other zombies, that is. So, unfortunately, we failed that little test. But, that's eh, alright. I'm inevitably going to play this game again. <laughs> we're learning quite a bit. Alright, let's break through this door. And continue onward. Oh my. That was a lot there. Okay. What do we have going on down here? Use the buttons to walk on zombie heads. Get them all to get a sweet reward. Okay. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> of course, it's that classic anime scene, or really just any sort of action scene where it's like you do the cool attack. Who's that? Morikawa Sensei. He's my sensei. Sensei, like a teacher? I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick. Well, I. I can't speak Japanese, Juliet. I just know that one word. <laughs> Your simple innocence is one of the most attractive things about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like a kitten. A kitten that doesn't speak Japanese. Yeah, okay. That was hilarious. <laughs> I love that. But, um, yeah, of course they have the scene where it's like everything blows up in the background, you know. The freeze frame after doing the cool attack. Typically it's the sword, you know, you can see all the lines where they slice through the enemy and then there's just one moment where they just kaboom, split into a bunch of different, like, body parts and stuff. I guess we unlocked another item in the shop? Let me get that one last coin. We got plenty of coins now. Oh, what I was gonna say earlier before I get interrupted is the first episode had some screen tearing, but I think we're alright now. Um, I looked it up a little bit online, and uh, supposedly it's only a thing in the intro cutscene. What do we have going on here? National Long Course Championships, Swimming, Diving, and Water Polo Programs. Alright, this is pretty uneventful. Zombie Basketball. Time limit three minutes. You lose and blam. You lose and blam. Yikes, that's pretty intimidating. Okay. Oh, is there something back here, too? Wait, no, that's where I came in from. Duh. Okay, let's give it a go. What does this say? San Romero Knights versus Moon Valley Boars? Okay. Let's play some basketball. We're playing basketball. Zombie basketball. Time you're killing them zombies. How many points can you rack up? Decapitate zombie heads and score points. Remember, you can also score three pointers. This is hilarious. So we're literally just decapitating zombies for the sake of throwing them at a goalie, basically. We almost have um, our like magic power, whatever it's called, which will be really helpful, I think. Can I just, like, fight you? I can. Nice! Okay, that's gonna be really helpful. Alright, goalie's back. 
This is gonna put in work. Uh, I thought I'd get a sparkle hunting though. Now there are two goldies? I'm not a fan of that. Oh, but technically if I'm in here, there are two pointers, right? So that's the, the trade-off here. Oh my goodness, these are cheerleader zombies? The zombie designs are great. You gotta love it. Alright, so I should heal up really quickly. Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. It's D-pad, isn't it? Oh, I can lock on? I totally forgot about that. Did we just get, like, flip kicked? By that cheerleader? That's pretty great. Anyways, I think we're doing okay on time. We've only got, like, 20 more points to get or so. Although these goalies are putting in a lot of work. It's so funny that the cheerleader zombies are, like, doing handsprings and handstands and stuff after you chop their, uh, their legs off. We're taking quite a bit of damage, though. Wow, what a turnaround. The zombies are getting slaughtered. Incredible game, Juliet. Can't wait to see you in action again. Wait, we're playing more zombie basketball in the future? Where's that voice coming from? Ooh, give me all the coins. That's a lot of coins. Anything else hidden in here? No? Alright, we'll just take this lollipop then. And be on our way. What are all these? Are those explosive tanks? Uh-oh. Um. Alright, let's get out of here then. <laughs> Ooh, chop to shop. Let's buy some things. Because we all know I love upgrading. Also interesting, this level's a little bit on the longer side, isn't it? Okay. Lollipop, I'm good on the fruit poop juice. We'll take that. Donkey fruit crepe. Okay. I I generally like that. Magic beans. Oh, do we unlock anything else? No, at the bottom we just have all the things we've already purchased. Okay. Alright, well let's take a look at those awesome skills again. I'll look at the threads and stuff eventually, don't worry guys. The chainsaw full swing, chainsaw chain, whirling dance of chainsaw death. You know what? I think I think that one sounds pretty good to me. Press triangle up to six times to devastate enemies on all sides. Oh, that's probably what we saw in that opening cutscene, isn't it? I bet. <laughs> the way they speak is so funny. Alright, we're gonna back up. Let's get two, three, four, five, six. Come on, that was that was whirling uh that should have been whirling chainsaw. Yeah, I'm a little bit curious. That's probably a whirling chainsaw, just kind of tacked on to the end of our usual combo. That's alright. Alright, let's use a lollipop for just safety. You can collect these coins behind here. Nice. And then see what lies ahead. Uh oh. No smoking in class. Oh shoot, what? Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Dang. Okay, I thought I was outside the uh, the blast radius, but alas, I was not. Come on. Oh man, don't these dudes ever stop coming? All right, well we filled up our magical meter. These zombies are coming out of nowhere, though. There's still one left. I don't really know where yet. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. There's a lollipop over here. 
I'm happy to hear that, Juliet, but really, there we go. Nice. Nick abilities. I love that the music too is like Juliet like chanting in rhythm, because it is essentially a little bit of like a rhythm minigame. As if Juliet couldn't do that herself. Let's be real. What? <laughs> Oh, dang, and they're shooting me like crazy. Okay, let's, um... Let's do some big damage here. Oh, that's really cool. It's an insta-kill even on these special zombies. Although, honestly, I should probably... I should probably try and figure out how to defeat those zombies in a more effective manner. Relying on... Relying on my special power-up. Is not probably a sustainable option. I'll think about it another time. Beat Dad's high score on leaderboard to earn special rewards. Okay. Um, let's see here. I do that every time. We can go for another lollipop now. All these coins are paying off quite a bit. The earlier we're able to upgrade ourselves, you know, the better. Dang. Really? Really aggressive start, jeez. That's the Whirling Chainsaw attack, I see. So it's not the, the one that we saw at the very beginning, which we actually just saw when we got up. I'm surprised I'm not getting a sparkle hunting with all this going on. This one dressed up like, like Elvis. That's hilarious. How you doing? Oh, uh, what? Okay. So we're gonna meet in the middle. And then get out of there, I guess. I mean, that works. If you wanna take matters into your own hands, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Just letting all this on me. Oh my goodness, those ones are attacking me with guitars. That's hilarious. Aw, oh, man. Dang, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that Circle X attack. You drive your chainsaw into the, the grounded zombies. They found a new virus. Aw, oh, darn it. I tried to... do this. But also, they found a new virus talk is uh, very pertinent in today's gaming uh, environment. What is this? Oh my goodness. That was a rather emphatic kill. Hey, I mean, one of the few things I can bond with this zombie over. <laughs> Washing your hands is definitely worth it. Alright, let's see here. Slide under and... Safe? Question mark? It seems like an abrupt ending to the the level, but... This loading screen... Wow. This game is fun. <laughs> it's very fun. It just... I don't know. It, it makes you laugh in a lot of ways. It's very fast paced. It keeps your brain thinking. You're pressing a lot of buttons and there's thought. It's not like a crazy difficult challenge though. Uh, you get to upgrade your character, which is another aspect I like. It's got action RPG elements. And again, the aesthetic, the theme, the story is all just so wonky. It's, it's really a blast. Okay, so we're at the shop again, which is surprising. God, I love shopping. I'm curious. Threads, MP3s, super secret concept art. So that'll be what we get last, but I, all right, now I'm at least curious. I've got a sexy American casual. Okay. Oh wait, those are platinums? Oh man, I didn't want to spend platinum medals on that. 
<laughs> Darn. Okay, well, that's my bad, guys. <laughs> His platinum metal seem to be a little bit more helpful. Anyways, we cannot get the donkey fruit crepe. And we can't really get any more upgrades. Or, we can get a new combo, can we? Chainsaw full swing. More powerful than chainsaw stab. What should I get? Hmm. Cheerleader chain. Let's do chainsaw full swing. Square, square, square triangle. Okay. We'll give it a go. That's a weird thing to say. What? <laughs> Juliet, what are you saying? <laughs> Sensei! Ah, Juliet! One moment, please. Are you kidding me right now? Sushi Master Morikawa? <laughs> it looks like you've really gotten ahead in life. What is it with him crouching at this view? My teacher, Morikawa Sensei is the most amazing veteran zombie hunter ever. Oh. Ah, correct. I have studied the zomboid sciences for 40 years. <laughs> Listen, both of you! The school is in dire trouble! My research tells me that something has gone wrong on a cosmic scale. That's a massive bummer. That completely sucks. Let me show you. The universe is composed of three dimensions. The land beyond words, the rotten world, and our dimension. Wait, what? There are dimensional walls between each. Using a combination of black magic and explosives, someone cracked the wall between Earth and Rotten World, and the gases of Rotten World seeped into our world. Your friends and fellow students inhaled these gases, which transformed them into the undead. Well, whoever did this could be trying to open a permanent gate between here and Rotten World, which would be catastrophic, unfortunately. Once they have become zombies, there is no return. All we can do is clean up the school, kill the undead, and stop the bomber. That is our mission. The bomber is either in the cafeteria downstairs or the courtyard. You destroy the zombies in the cafeteria. I shall look in the courtyard. I'm counting on you both. Kill the motherfuckers! <laughs> This game, I tell you. <laughs> this game. One, two, three. It's party time, motherfuckers! Aw, oh, man. Can I? Alright, let's... No, no zombie sparkle hunting? What? For real? We got so many zombies here, I figured at least some of them would be, uh... Some more cohesive killing. Ooh, golden lollipop. Very best time too. Oh, well, that's a crappy party. Wow, dumbest, most explodious birthday cake ever. No, they mean fire. Uh oh. Do not let the fire zombies touch the dynamite. Generation. Whoever's behind this knows my birthday. We must be friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Juliet. Yeah, this is uh, quite the birthday cake. I don't want to push it closer to the bomb. That was uh, not the intent there. Oh, dang. That was cool. I like that attack. And it looks like they only require one chainsaw attack afterwards. Oh wait, what? I, how did I miss? Oh man. This major sucks. Alright, well, worst case scenario, I have my magical girl. Oh shoot! I did not realize that one of the zombies had already gotten there. Wait, what the heck? No! You're running so fast! Oh. Oh, yeah, I hit 
protected you. Oof. Second death in the same episode. Yikes. So what's a good way of going about that one, like, ran immediately. And I feel like I couldn't even catch up to it. Do not let the fire zombie touch the dynamite. Oh, wait, do I not have my, uh... Oh, no, I do have my chainsaw attack. Cool. Alright, we gotta get this guy. Do not let the fire zombies touch the dynamite. Doing my best, Nick, I promise. A little bit easier said than done, though. I mean, for real, what, what is Nick contributing to this relationship right now? This major sucks. Oh, come on, come on. Alright, well, we prevented that one from getting there, which is a small victory, but it is a victory, so we'll take that. Ah, darn it. I gotta get this one. No, 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 come on. Darn it. Well, there goes that barrier. Uh-oh. I messed up that combo. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's tough, though. No! <laughs> Darn it. So, there's, uh, there's obviously something I'm doing incorrectly here, right? Maybe it's that I need to try and, I don't know, do some more stunning with the pom-pom bashes? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's got to be, um, there's got to be a more convenient way of killing a lot of these zombies, just because, oh wait, no, 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 don't go that way. Because at the moment, I mean, they're so spread out, it's just tough. But even then, it's not like there's a specific move I need to do, right? Because they can't rely on you having gotten a certain move from the shop. That'd be a little bit much. The thing is, by the time I kill one zombie, I'm so far away from the, the explosives. It takes so much time. It's tough, man. This one's this one's already gonna get it. Do not let the fire zombies touch the dynamite. Is there a better way to do it? I don't know, man. This one's gonna run, isn't it? Yeah. I guess like they're kind of focused on me after a certain point. I don't know. Not enough, though. Alright, next challenge is uh, right here, right? We're gonna get a couple more runners. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't like this. I... I'm gonna use my... Uh... Oh, shoot, come on. Wait, what? Where did where did that one come from? I don't even know which one hit the, the, the barrier there. I know there was one on the right that I didn't get to in time, because it doesn't like stop the zombies from moving while I'm uh, activating that special ability. But um 
I thought there were only two on the right side. I thought I addressed the ones on the left, and the center one definitely wasn't there yet. Man, I can use those knives that Morikawa Sensei had. I still feel like that's my fastest combo. Is to do the three pom pom bashes and then the chainsaw attack tag to get rid of them. I've got my special ability. Alright, so I think on the next set, there's gonna be one that runs in, right? So I gotta be ready for that. It's you. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, come on. No, I missed. That was a very close call. Way too close of a call. Wait, no, 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 no. Alright, that kind of worked. The, uh, the homing was not 100% there. Come on. What? <sighs> I'm pretty sure that was like a, a blow that would have killed the zombie. Oh man, if this takes too long, I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of stuff. Power of editing, right? But I think it, it got pushed around the barrier. Okay. Wait, what? Uh oh, this is gonna be one of those really quick escape segments, isn't it? Get through the door quickly! Now. Hurry! Oh man, you really don't have time to dilly dally there. What a cool effect! Gosh, every bit of art in this game is awesome! Like, just look at this loading screen. But yeah, it's funny. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in this attempt. Maybe I'll edit. And then, of course, the attempt right after that is the one that I managed to make it through. Using a little bit more tactful um, 
I don't know, utility of our, our magical girl powers. <laughs> because of course. Hey! I recognize that guy! He went to school with us! He's the one! Planning to open the gate between here and Rotten World! I have to stop him! <laughs> oh man! There's nothing more hysterical to me than watching this world burn! This world, this government, this society made my life a hell! Well, now everyone is gonna know a life hell! Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Swan, God Why did geek. you do this to my school? What? You didn't have time to clean out your locker, Juliet? Hey, leave her alone. Wait till I get my hands on you, dude. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, malicious lords. I invoke your dark forces in declaring myself God of this realm. As the pawn is present, may your ritual commence, and may the dark purveyors appear now. <laughs> Again? And rot every living thing in the school along the way. <laughs> I did it. All right, guys, time for you to rot this entire school and everyone in it. In before he dies. this kid. Are we fucking head case? How could you do this to Sensei Morikawa? What are you laughing at, dickhead? Let the ritual commence. <laughs> this is so over the top. Onomatopoeia is attacking Juliet. And then again, this loading screen. I love it. I love it. <laughs> the chainsaw rotating in perfect unison. <laughs> oh, man. Is this the end of the chapter? Oh man, this zombie's rocking out. Crazy guys. <laughs> also, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Oh, what the heck? Wow, so we just got attacked. I, I appreciated some, uh, some zombie, not zombie, My Chemical Romance back in the day. I was gonna say, I thought this might be the end of the uh, the chapter. That'd be a good timing to end the episode, but I, we, we can't interrupt here, can we? Huh? 
That's certainly a, uh... That's certainly, I don't know, the threat. Dang, these zombies uh, require a little bit more work to, to kill. That should do the trick. We're getting closer. Aw oh, man, I thought I could uh, beat him to the chase. Can't really see, but I got a pretty good idea of what's going on based on all the uh, the effects. Your face gonna be as sweet. Total waste of a Volvo. <laughs> That's like the brand they had to the pick. Oh, when I died, did I lose coins? That would be a shame. Oh man. All this jump coming at us. Ooh, the epic <laughs> dodge by rolling through the car, diving through the window. Quit destroying shit for no reason. I hate your Oh man, this game is something else. This is a pretty spacious area in general. These zombies don't seem too aggressive. But yeah, it looks like we might have lost our coins, unfortunately. I think, just to be safe, I'll use a lollipop. It's so epic. Cutting through the objects and then, like, diving through them or around them. <laughs> All right, boss time. <laughs> I'm gonna crush your face! <laughs> I'm loving this shit. <laughs> you know what? I could agree with you there. <laughs> Nick has something else to say about that. The design of all these characters is so great. Torturing small animals? What kind of whack job waterboards Chip and Dale? That makes Skyliner here like the most uncoolest dude ever. Welcome to the fish show. What is going on here? Oh my. Giant letters. So that did a lot of damage. So we can get some damage in here and there. My only concern is how do we avoid those big letters when he attacks with them? Wait, is that glitter makeup? Oh, I can lock on, can't I? I can, that'll be nice. We're actually doing quite a bit of damage here. Oh, I didn't even see where he went. My package was that small. I'd never wear pants that tight. Almost there. <laughs> Come on, finishing move. Oh my goodness, this effect on screen is so cool. That was hot. <laughs> you think that hurts me? What? a <laughs> little. Oh no, that was only phase one? Oh, interesting. Oh, 
So, so each time, can we, oh, okay, so we can break the ones that aren't, you know, the one he's like immediately on. Don't, don't string too many attacks together. Although they seem to come back. Stop. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying, man. Is he making new ones? Or no? I don't think he is. Alright, he's gonna attack. Yeah, I'm working on it, Nick. Jeez, man. So bossy. That's a big speaker. Bring it on! Let's fuck up that speaker. So many F bombs. I love it. It's so funny. This channel is generally uh, pretty intense. Oh, wait, what? I attempt to have somewhat of a family friendly demeanor. This game is definitely to the contrary. Almost there. There we go. Come on. I'm mashing. Oh, that wasn't even all the way through. Alright, so now we're back to the combat. We're actually getting a good amount of damage in here right off the bat. Which is pretty cool. He's gonna attack now. Whoa, what's with that like effect on screen? Oh. Okay. Yeah, what is this? Wow, we actually uh, successfully avoided that, which is pretty cool. No, it doesn't, Nick. We're doing fine. Look at this. He's got like one hit left. Aw, oh, man. He definitely had iframes there. Alright, let's do this. Aw, oh, what? Come on. I was going to say, we're just basically doing a whole bunch of flips over all these letters so we can make our way there. Dang, this reminds me of Scott Pilgrim with how the, the whole, like, almost comic book aesthetic with the onomatopoeia and the attacks. Zed's dead, baby, Zed's dead. <laughs> Look at all these blood splatters on screen. <laughs> this game is nuts. There's the map. Zed so we've cleared the high school. The of the dark purveyors. But the other four are here, rotting the school. By now they've probably transformed all your fellow students into undead. The school is probably filled with zombies. <coughs> Sensei! Mr. Morikawa. Juliet and Nick, I have faith you can stop them. All humans must die as I 
must now do. Oh, sensei, no! Don't leave! Oh, I have this for you, Juliet. Happy birthday, Juliet. <laughs> you are always my favorite pupil. I love this game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> An upgraded chainsaw. Now that's a sweet ride. Chainsaw dash? What? Wow. So yeah, I mean I'm not surprised that was probably not a great uh, attempt at the level, but I guess we made it we, we made it through. You got MP3s as a reward for clearing stage one. You can now choose stage one in ranking mode. You can now use the chainsaw dash from stage two onwards. We'll figure out what that means, of course, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a long episode. Um, it might have been frustrating at times because I was failing, but I hope those of you that were patient enough to get through it managed to enjoy all this game has to offer because clearly it has a lot to offer. This chapter of the high school was so much fun. Just every individual situation, the game keeps coming up with something that catches me off guard in the most pleasant way, and it has me so excited to see what's coming next. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one just as much as I am, but until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.